Hi everyone, good evening, Jai Hind. I hope you're all well, fine, healthy, safe. Great to have you. I welcome you all to this session. A lot of you have been asking me about uh, how to build a logic because this is one thing I keep on saying on this particular channel that uh, logic, if it's good, you will be able to do really well in not only in life but all the competitive exams that you're going to do. A lot of competitive exams, co particularly math contests like IOQM or exams like JE, involve logic. And the child who is very good in logic, who has already developed problem-solving skills, is able to do really well. And that is, in fact, the only difference between the students who are able to get top ranks, top marks, versus the students who are just able to get through. Because syllabus is all Right, so in this session, I am going to bring you certain games. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the certain games, which we also play with our students in the classes. Of course, some of these games uh, are, are uh, proper board games. But a lot of these games have both the online versions and offline versions. And a lot of them, we're able to convert those online versions into uh, the static, uh, you know, puzzles for our students, which we discuss in different levels uh, in our batches. Right. So I'm going to discuss some of these uh, uh, games with you today. And uh, these games are going to help you improve your logic by leaps and bounds. And it is going to improve your number sense. In fact, what I've done is, I have categorized games ko categorize kar diya in different uh, uh, you know, things. One second. <clears throat> okay. So what I've done is, uh, I've categorized the games, games into different skills that you will be able to learn uh, while playing with them. Right. So as I mentioned, why mathematical games are important, this is the most important aspect that we do in our batches. We play games with the students. It's a dosi se fade hoti hai. So one is, of course, all the skills that get acquired. That is one. Aajkal to IOQM ne bhi, they've started asking problems on games. In fact, any good math contest, any good contest wherein they are in, going to involve good mathematics, they're definitely going to be questions, problems on the games. So these games help you think, foresight uh, to... to uh, see what are the important things you need to, important steps you need to think uh, uh, of solving. You have to learn about the winning position and losing position. So there are different aspects of uh, different types of games that you have to learn. Some games give you arithmetic sense. Some games give you number sense. Some games gives you geometric sense. But in all, these games are definitely required. And of course, as I mentioned, our courses, hai, this is one mandate which is given to all the teachers. That is, we have to play games. At least in every session, there has to be one thought puzzle which has to be given uh, to the students. And it is mostly out of these games, which I am going to tell you. Right, so of course, uh, mathematics is not about formulas. It is about thinking. It is about logic. It is about reasoning. It is about creativity. And one of the simple ways to develop these things is to play these kind of games, to give you these kind of different situations. Because ultimately, if you talk about the algebra, algebraic formulas, A plus B whole square, A plus B whole cube, the child is anyways going to learn this in some way or the other at some stage of his life. Okay, some kids learn quickly in 6th, some kids learn in 8th, some kids learn in 9th, but ultimately the child is going to be, you know, learning these kind of formulas. It is about the applications of these kind of formulas. It is about the application of the concepts of geometry, which is more important. And that, uh, of course, these kind of games will be able to teach you in the better way. Right, so, so it, they help build focus, logic and confidence. And of course, the best time to play or to develop these things are grade 3 to 8. Okay, these are times when you are, you have more time, there is no pressure. 9th and 10th, particularly in India, ke andar, uh, you know, you start uh, talking about these competitive exams of, uh, you know, JE, ISI, IOQM, these kind of exams. And a lot of time goes there. But uh, yes, but even in the students who join us in 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, in whatever course, this is one of the most important aspects that we do because we think that without this, math can develop kar hi nahi sakte. Okay, so let us start. Let us start the session. So these are logic and strategy games, right? So logic and strategy, mein sabse chess aata hai. Of course, there is not, no game 
greater greater than uh, the chess but again chess say better we always believe chess puzzles so again we tend to give a lot of static puzzles uh, to the student for example one of the puzzle i gave uh, in my class it was in today's uh, class only in one of the levels was uh, figuring out the winning and losing position on a 8 by 8 chess board okay so i'll just give you a different situation let's say this is a board black and white board and a queen stands here queen stands here the player plays alternately p1 and p2 the queen is around allowed to take the right turn any number of moves upwards any number of moves and diagonally upwards and rightwards theek hai so queen kahan kahan ja sakti hai queen yahan ja sakti hai in any of these in any of these or in this case if the queen is there any of these let's say player 1 places the queen here now the queen can move here here and here diagonally upwards and towards the right they take alternate turns and whoever reaches this position wins right so this was the puzzle which was discussed today in one of my levels level 5 and uh, of course the the students are thinking about it right so these are what we call static puzzles on chess right so so they help uh, you know develop the thinking in the better way because you are able to see what you are able to learn about the winning and losing positions you are able to see a lot of other things right so chess puzzles is is something that we do in our classes then there is mastermind then there is othello so othello uh, i mean it's a board game so but it's a very beautiful game now one thing which i want to mention here is uh, when you are playing a game it is should not be about winning or losing it should be about finding the strategy so again you should be so there are two ways to find the strategy one is to play these games enough number of times to agar kisi bhi game ko bahut baar kheloge you will be able to figure out the strategy on your own but the point is can you be elegant enough can you find those strategies in less by playing less number of games so when you play these games you know always try to figure out what can be the best strategy and what can be the best uh, methods that can be applied so that you are on the winning side or winning position and then there are think fun games and they help improve logic sequence puzzles and yahan pe maine grades or ages bhi likhe hain and also the life skills built for example chess it helps you build patience you are able to do uh, much better in foresight and adaptability chess puzzles is focused in precision mastermind is inference and persistence uh, othello is adaptability and planning and the think fun games is creative thinking and focus a lot of these games if you google them you'll be able to find the online versions also and that also for free okay so these are logic and strategy games then there are arithmetic and number games ye jab bache third mein fourth mein fifth mein hote hain then uh, this is what we do so one is 24 game <coughs> the other is equate ken 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 kakuru are the same uh, you know kakuru sudoku are the same things then there is 2048 it's a very uh, you know addictive game so i have been playing 2048 today Uh, a lot, and then there is Prime Club, right? So यहाँ पर भी इनमें से बहुत सारे static puzzles हम उठा के बच्चों को static puzzles उठा के students को देते हैं, so 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 that they able to think. Most of these games they build arithmetic, they help students develop more and faster arithmetic algebra, not algebra, yeah, arithmetic mainly, right? And uh, you can see the age limit also. So arithmetic order of operations. then uh, equate is so equate again equate is uh, so a so simple version of equate would be this right so this is what we do in our classes so quite a few static versions of equate so one is uh, okay so for example 24 7 8 5 2 is equal to 7 or 70 so again what we do is using plus minus multiplication division brackets equate this to be equal to 70 right so so this is this is uh, one of the versions of equate right so there is a situation which is given on the left hand side and with some uh, right so some or all of these operators you have to equate it to 70 kisi bhi tarike se right so so students are able to spend a lot of time one uh, puzzle which i give to my students a lot is the so 1996 you have to use 1996 in this order in 
this order with operators like plus minus division root multiplication to find certain numbers for example you can you have to form 73 using 1996 in this order only okay so you can always do 1 plus root 3 times 9 plus 6 and so on right so you have to think on this so the more the child spends time on this ultimately his uh, everything everything is going to improve improving including the numerical skills and uh, uh, arithmetic skills right and of course 2048 and uh, the next being the prime club 2048 sadly uh, is uh, uh, there cannot be a static version available uh, it is an online game and uh, it is to be played on either on computer on or on the uh, mobile app then there is geometry and visualization games right so so these games we typically play with our smaller kids level 3 level 4 that is students of grade 3rd 4th 5th 6th so tangram is one of the most beautiful things if you've seen hum level 3 or level 4 can bachon ke andar areas do hain wo tangram se sikhate hain so this we use in level 3 and level 4 that means grade 3 4 5 6 it's very important to understand what uh, tangrams can do and how uh, you're able to visualize the shapes different shapes and form different shapes right so so it helps improve creativity and geometry to the next level uh, next is blocus geometric constructions and uh, so construction ke static versions of course we start in our level 5 level 6 uh, then there is magic squares magic squares we play in level 4 and level 5 and then there is game of life game of life is a board game right so so these are uh, the games and the math skills they improve tangrams geometry spatial reasoning Blocus is geometry and optimization. Geometric construction is geometry and problem solving, right? So this is one of the most important aspects. In fact, geometric construction, hum level 6, 7, 8, even 9 may be karwate. Because Haskell to Inmo ke andar, a lot of problems uh, are on basic geometric construction only. So magic squares, level 4 and level 5 may introduce karate. And game of life is this, right? So these are the different grades. Then there are strategy games and then theory, theory games. Uh, so these, most of these games we play at level 7, right, so name game, game of chomp, uh, North Courts game, Mankala and Connect 4, so Connect 4 is again a board game, it's a, uh, you know, there's a simple game wherein you have to visualize how can you connect 4 at a time, so, but a lot of these games are based on Zermalo's theorem and uh, which says that if uh, there's a game which cannot end in a draw and there's no luck involved one of the players will definitely have a winning strategy one of the players is always going to win it can be either player one or player two you have to figure out who has a winning strategy and why he is able to win and what will be is going to be the winning strategy so a lot of these games uh, again for example chomp uh, chomp is a very amazing game and uh, you will be able to find the online version of chomp right so if you can just type uh, chomp uh, free chomp online game uh, on Google, you'll be able to see a lot of links and you can play Chomp on your own. Game of name, game of heaps, right? So, so these are the games, uh, which are strategy games and uh, we play these games at level 7 because, uh, as I said, IOQM ke andar ab ye games aane wa, aa gai hai. Thiga, one of the problems in 2025 uh, IOQM was uh, based on, we can say, NIM. Thiga, NIM ka hi thoda sa version tha, alag sa version tha. Right, so, these are strategy games and, of course, uh, we play these games a lot with our level 6, level 7 students. So NIM helps improve, you know, parity, combinatorics, invariance. Game of Chomp, game theory, parity. Uh, not Cots game is a parity and strategy game. Uh, Mankala is counting and probability. And uh, Connect4 is combinatorics and strategy again. And uh, these are the age and grades. Then there are logic and pattern games. <coughs> so set, Minesweeper, Tower of Hanoi, Buzz and Think fun puzzles so we play this game at level 7 level 8 it's not a game it's a it's a problem and we try to solve this problem using recurrence and a lot of other methods at level 7 level 8 uh, a lot of other most of these others are uh, are, are the board games all right so set identify sets of cards by attributes and uh, mind sweeper to bahut hi common sa game hai hanoi is uh, you know even though bahut sare chote bachchon ko you know toddlers are, are given the towers of Hanai, but again, uh, the real sense of the mathematical idea behind the tower of Hanai, you are able to understand when you grow up. Uh, then there is bus, and uh, then there is think fun puzzles. A lot of games are there in think uh, 
and puzzles and these are the life skills which you are able to build with these games okay so so that's it as i mentioned we play a lot of these games in our courses in fact this is the most important aspect of our courses to build problem solving skills and we build them by by using the static versions of some of these games right so so i hope you enjoyed this session and of course you can start playing these games and if you wish to join our courses the links are there in the description box you can check those courses take care god bless you bye everyone